Are we live? <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to the e-learning cooking show. I am your host, Chef Mr. McCallum. And uh, today, I hope you enjoyed the clickbait. We're going to be talking about our dessert episode this Friday. And uh, it's really all about fondues and fun don'ts. Um, it's actually nothing about fondue because what we're, what we're really going to do is we're going to dip things in chocolate. That may be fondue, that may not. We might eat the chocolate while it's still gooey. We might let it set and enjoy it like a delicious chocolate covered strawberry, which in fact we are not going to make because I don't have any strawberries. But I do have a banana and some other things. But first, I don't want you to think I take this lightly. So we're gonna wash our hands. All right, let's get to it. Warm, but not hot scalding water. Little dab will do ya. A little bit of water. And we're gonna, I don't know, sing our favorite song that's perhaps copyrighted and I wouldn't sing it. I wouldn't dare sing it on the internet in, in violation of copyrights of any kind. What are you all singing while you wash your hands? Did anybody even hear? Yeah. Oh, hi. Bennett, you have Helena, Pubs for Life, Hannah Sketches Thing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Helena is really excited about chocolate covered bananas. This is going to be good. Bennett is just excited about you. She says hi. Hi, Bennett. I'm excited about you. In fact, I'm excited about all of you. Hallie's here now, and Megan. Hey, Hallie. Hello, Megan. Megan? Okay, good. All right. Listen. Is this adequate? Would you give me give me a, a thumbs up if this is enough hand washing? Um, Megan says that we sing Uncle the Loco from Coco. I don't even know what that means, but I like the sound of it. All right, now that these hands are clean, I'm going to use a paper towel to maintain sanitation. Because Lord knows what kind of bacteria are growing on this towel right here. Oh, look at that. Ooh. It's that clean. used to be white. <laughs> Just kidding. It's gray. I mean, it's orange, people. Relax. All right. Um, now, here's what we got to do. We got to get a couple things started. I already have water rolling at a low boil. And I'm going to turn on a second burner. And you're asking me, Mr. McCallum, what's that for? Uh, I wouldn't dream to leave this out of it. Woo! So we're going to get that rocking and rolling. And we're going to take this incredible edible egg. And we're going to pop it into this low boil for about six minutes. Why, you ask? I don't know, but it seems to be a bit that's working. So I'm going to stick with it, at least for this week. I think we'll change it up for next week. We'll see. All right, let's get down to business. <clears throat> Come with me over here to the chocolate dipping station. Now, here's what you're going to need. I've got some delicious dark chocolate, and feel free to use milk chocolate. It's a little sweeter, but I prefer the dark chocolate, and I put it in a little Pyrex glass bowl. Believe it or not, we're gonna just pop this in the microwave for about 35 seconds. Just get that nice and smooth, okay? Helena's scared that we're gonna do chocolate covered bologna. Helena, I think you know me well enough to understand that that's where we're going. I don't see any other option, okay? All right, so a couple seconds in the microwave, the chocolate's getting nice and gooey. 30 seconds to 35 seconds at a time, people. Do not set your chocolate on fire. It may take several rounds, but be patient. You're gonna wanna have a chocolate-covered spatula so that you can get it all off the sides and, and all the gooiness out at some time. We have an appreciation comment. Oh! This is the only thing me and my roommate look forward to watching every day from Megan. Oh my gosh, this is darling. Right here, this little ticker. Love, love. Now, ow, ow! Okay. <laughs> that was pretend. But it's probably best if you use some awkward, large, oversized oven mitts to get your chocolate out. Let's see. How does that look? Mmm, the goo. All right, we're going to set that over here. If you get chocolate over your mitts, you can wash, wash them. them. Okay. All right, shutting this down. Uh, let's not forget to flip the bolognese. Ooh, that's a nice stim. If I'm being honest, it's probably not a good idea to dip your untreated bologna into your chocolate at this point. So we're going to hold, okay? And we have a few minutes anyway for the egg product. Let's dive into the good stuff. Now, 
We've got an apple. We've got some, uh, what do you call these? Uh, cuties, cutes, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna use some of these. Now, some of you are really good at digging your thumbnail in there and, and pulling these apart, but if you don't like uh, orange underneath your thumbnail all day, you can just take a knife and score that. Unless you too have the patented Tupperware uh, orange cutting device, which we have somewhere, but I don't know. Megan would like to correct you. Please um, do. You called a banana an apple. Did I? Did I seriously? <laughs> yes, you did. That's... I was going to say something, but. No, I'm. Well, thank you for pointing that out. I am under no illusions that this is an apple. It is a banana. Uh, Aztec Monkey 35 says that uh, vanilla whackers slap. Uh, they certainly do. No cap. <laughs> what, uh, yeah, with mm, the kids these days. But yeah, we're going to dip some of those too now. All right, so we got some orange going. Uh, the banana too, apparently. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That should make it easy to dig that nail. Oh. 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 Ugh. That was, that was kind of gross. Did you know that's how you're supposed to open a banana though? I, it took me 40 years to figure that out. All right. Good. Remember to compost. Okay. That hit me in the head. My apologies, camera lady. All right, we're going to cut this up into some slices. Man, this one, this is a ripe one. Helena says that we're going to have to tape a banana to our wall if we're true artists. Uh, yes, that's, that's definitely happening. I'm planning to tape one of every fruit to the wall. Hallie suggests that we also roll the bologna like a taquito. How do you, it's like you read my mind. It's like you know what's going on inside of there. It's like you've been around me long enough to understand my thoughts about food and cooking. All right, we are going to shut down the bolognese because I can smell it. And if you can smell it, it's ready. I'm not even going to show you that other side. Don't be afraid of a little burniness. Burnt toast, burnt bologna, burnt chicken. It's fine. All right, back to this. I do actually have apples. I pre-cut the apples because I wanted to put them into a little baggie. You smell that? That's some lime or lemon juice to put into your apples to keep them from browning. Apparently it didn't work, but we tried, okay? Or I just didn't shake it up good enough. If you put, usually if you put a little lemon juice, you're good, you're good for an afternoon. But um, yeah, these look oxidized as heck to me. Okay. It's not a problem, kids, because we're going to cover it in chocolate, and it's going to be delicious. Gosh dang it. Vince Araneta says that this is so indie. Indie? Is that... Okay, Vince, help me out. Is that cool? Is that hip? You would know, because you yourself are so indie. You know what I'm into? I'm into fondue. So let's keep going. All right. Let's, uh, let's start with this. We got all our fruits cut up. And I was too lazy to actually make Rice Krispie treats. So, actually my mom gave me a whole box of them from Costco. And uh, this would be a great thing to dip. Now, listen, I've got 15 children, and so I really have to be uh, frugal. And I'm gonna cut this in half. In fact, oh, that means our egg is done. Let's cancel that, and let's get our egg out. Don't dip your bare hands in boiling water. Oh, that's a nice looking egg. Now, <clears throat> some of you are wondering, why did you do that? You just wait, and I'm praying it's soft boiled, because that's my favorite. Okay, burners are off, so no fire hazard. I think we're good. There's actually a lot of oil on that bologna. Oh my gosh. If I eat another piece of bologna, it's possible I won't make it through this crisis. So we're just gonna dab that up. Oh Lord. Okay, okay. I mean, you don't have to look at that. You don't have to. Okay, let's continue. Now, <clears throat> I've sliced up my individual serving of Rice Krispie Treat into four. Now I can feed the nations. So I will take, this is a toothpick. Some of you use it to pick your teeth. Stop that. 
we're gonna use it for fondue, okay? All right, let's put the toothpick in this way because it'll be like a little, like a popsicle, okay? Ugh. This is gonna be good. Bennett suggests chocolate covered egg. Bennett, <laughs> again, it's almost like you know exactly what I'm thinking. All right, we're gonna go over here to the dip station. Let's not get greedy, okay? This is already a delicious treat. Let's not ruin it. Let's just kind of... Do you see the, the twist? It's the dip and twist technique, and then curl up. All right, perfect. We're just going to set that aside. Boop. All right. We're going to... Let's do this one a little different. We're going to do the side dip. Try not to get your fingers in there. Boop, boop. Little wiggle back and forth. Little wiggle jiggle. <laughs> you betcha. Now that is a fancy treat. We're just gonna do that. Boop. It's the dip and twist. Ooh, splatter chop. Oh lord, I dropped it. Just a little boop boop right off the extras. Okay. This is kind of professional, if you ask. If you ask me, if you were to ask a professional, it would not be professional. But let's remember I did wash my hands. All right, one more of these dip and twists. Oh, man, that is... This is art, people. That's why we do this program. Okay, now I'm just going to get in here and just make sure we're all okay with the chocolates. <laughs> Everything seems to be integrated and well done. It's possible you've heard my asthmatics on coffee. I do not want you to be alarmed. In this age, I understand it is, it is not pleasant to hear a cough. But everything is fine. Do not do not fear. We are good. I also suffer from the asthma, okay? As described in Lord of the Flies. Some of you may have read it. Now, we're gonna do a couple of these. The most delicious food product I can imagine. It's hot in this kitchen. Mm. We're gonna dip. Can you hear that? Mm. Let's go dip in the chocolate. A dippity do. It's a half dip and a twirl and a flip. Boop. Perfect every time. Anna Sketches says, Asthma Gang. Anna, you know what I'm talking about, right? <clears throat> it's that that clenching feeling in the in in your chest when those little vest vestibules of pocket lung things close up on you it's rough ever since i was a kid bennett enjoyed the uh vanilla wafer asmr i'm glad you did okay look at that is delightful i have four children i have four things i don't actually have 15 children all right i want to do one more thing this seems a little redundant <clears throat> but also my mom got me a box of milanos that would Little dab, little dab. No licking. I can't lick it. You're not allowed to lick. Okay. Hannah Crow says that this is making her day. Hannah, I'm so happy to hear that it's making your day, because that that's part of the mission of the e-learning cooking show. We want to make your lunch and your day. You know what I'm saying? It's great. Okay, so let's dip in here. We notice this is already sort of. It's a sandwich cookie with chocolate in the middle, but we are going to add bonus. Okay? Now, again, you don't, you don't need to do overkill, and if you can, this is a good technique. You do the, it's, this is not a double dip because I didn't put it in my mouth. Look at that technique. Look at that. Okay? All right. Now we're going to do the side dip. I think this is the one. This is the one that you're gonna wanna go for if you have these cookies at home. Go for the side dip, all right? So, Milano cookies, dipped. Let's try some. We have a few comments. Please do. First thing is, Helena sounds like your mom is the best. Says that your mom is, sounds like she's the best. Oh, there's no doubt, there's no um, doubt. She, her, have... her love language is, is gifts, okay? We have a question. Yes. Are you gonna do the cooking show over the weekend? I mean, I. If there's demand for the cooking show over the weekend, I would gladly, gladly do that. 
I don't want to overburden y'all with too much content. But I'll tell you what. The cooking never stops, okay? We all have to eat. So if, if the audience demands the e-learning cooking show on the weekends, then far be it from me to withhold you from that. You have to let me know in, uh, well, I got a great idea, kids. Let's try an experiment. Let me know in the YouTube comments, because I'm going to post this on YouTube now, so that you can uh, view all of the episodes, all right? So tell me if you want to see it on the weekend, and if we have any demand for it, then I'll do it. If not, we'll just wait till next week. Okay. Linus says there's always a demand for the cooking show, and then Bennett says I'm down for a weekend cooking show. That's what I like to hear. And, you know, listen, if you guys, if three, if three of you tell me you want it, I'll probably just do it, because, heck, that's fun. All right. Finally, a request. Yes, please request uh, away. Hallie would like a song that you sing about fondue. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it goes like this. One time I was melting some chocolate And I thought to myself What could I put in it? I could put an orange or a banana I could put a Rice Krispie Treat I could put an Ella Wafer I could even put A hard-boiled egg Or bologna too Maybe some other stuff like cabbage. Wonderful. Is that okay? Wonderful. I just wrote that yesterday, so. Naomi says, sup, Scoob? Sup, Naomi? How you doing? Look at it. Take it. Just get the art. Get the art of that, okay? It's beautiful. Do you see that? You know what else is beautiful? Let's take a minute. I'm just going to wipe off the hands on this sterilized towel. I want you to see what I've got on my feet. Okay, those, those are Crocs, friends. These keep your feet warm. Now, I also wanted to point out, some of you, some of you, you know who you are, told me that my feet are blue. They're not blue, okay? I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that my feet aren't blue. I don't even know if I'm allowed to show you my feet on Instagram, live, or on YouTube. But I'm just here to say I wanted to prove it to you. My feet are not blue. Okay. One of my toes was a little white this morning because it got cold and I lost all circulation. But other than that, they're not blue. Okay. We Friends? Have a question. Yes. Hannah Crow is asking why is your song not on Spotify? Because she also says it's the best song of 2020. Uh, Naomi's wondering where she can buy the song. Right. And Anna Hyde says that you're such a good singer. Um uh, I'm on the the I'm on the SoundClouds. I'm on the Camp Rocks. I'm, <laughs> I'm on the uh, the Sportifies. I mean, listen, I wasn't going to say this, but the album drops next week, and I'm willing to let you guys in a little early on that. Okay? All right. Let's dip an apple in. Uh, let's see how we do. I'm Jonathan hoping... James is hoping that you never show your feet again. J <laughs> JJ, can't say I blame you, but I needed to prove it. That's all. That's a one-time one gift. Okay? I am... I'm not intending to do that again. All right. Also, lots of love on the fuzzy Crocs. Right? Where's JJ Payola? Is that how? Who is that? Your? How do I say that, I don't Jenny? Think they're here. Jenny, that makes me Jenny a little upset. Um, Helena also says that feet might be a violation, but had to risk it to prove that you had no blue feet. Hallie said, "Feet emoji equals blue circle emoji." Stop it. Um, Helena is also asking, is the album a collab with Mr. Bowling? Because he has some sick beats on he's, the He's on the tracks. He is... Was that not amazing in Chapel today? I mean, obviously, we've heard his skills before. But just to hear, like, it's like an intimate, live, unplugged concert. That was fantastic. Now, if you're doing a... If you're doing a fruit, I say, you know, you can always do a lot more. If you're doing the, the sugary sweets... And you don't want the dillabetes, then just take it easy, okay? I don't want to elevate my A1C too high. So now, listen, kids. Uh, we're gonna do another hand wash. I want to tell you something. Chocolate is a versatile thing. We shouldn't be afraid of it. We should be willing and open to possibilities like eggs maybe some bologna. 
I'm just saying. So let's see what we can do. Let's get the baloney out. Mrs. Hogan out. is here, by the way. Oh, Mrs. B. Hoagie. <laughs> is that how, Mrs. B. Hoagie, right? I, That's, I don't know. I mean, we got your B. Hoagie and you hear Mrs. B. Hoagie. Now, I, I'm not sure if you noticed. This is a very, I, I crispy, right? For all intents and purposes, this is a bacon product. I think it's actually made out of turkey, though. All right, so we're gonna cut turkey this into, bacon. we're gonna cut this into slices. I don't mind a little banana on my bologna. It's okay. Bennett is wondering if that was CDC recommendation. Twenty seconds of hand washing. I, I. What's that? Twenty seconds. I don't. I was already it was already clean, so I didn't need the full twenty, because I didn't touch anybody in between then. So, okay, all right, here we go. Get in there. Look at that. Look at look at that. Okay, some delicious, delicious meats. Let's take a couple of these. Boop, boop, boop. I'm really kind of excited about this. I don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna dip. It's happening. I'm gonna dip and flip. Boop. <laughs> Let's do let's do the uh, the vertical half. Ooh. Oh, oh, work of art. I mean, okay. If I'm being honest, Helena says that we need to give that egg a chocolate drizzle. Where? Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, this one's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna do a dip, dip, so we can get a little bit more on that one. Ooh, that's a lot of extra chocolate. Chocolate bologna jerky, Helena is asking. Right, that's exactly what this is. Basically, all of the moisture has been cooked out of this. And then we are going to... Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm getting Most very excited. Your life wants to know if you eat bologna daily. If I said I did, would you judge me? It is a very versatile meat, as I have said in the past. Listen, I want to show you a special trick that I saw once. Uh, on some place and it's how to peel a hard-boiled egg this is this is a soft-boiled egg one of two things is gonna happen either this egg is cooked with a soft yolk or it's not cooked at all I don't know to be honest I've never soft-boiled an egg so I'm gonna put it in here and then you add just a touch of water okay like a touch I don't know a touch or three then you put this on. Let's see. Oh man, this this is not gonna work. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna try it. Okay. We have to shake vigorously. Bennett says we can't lose another. Egg. All right. Are you ready for this? You're gonna want to see this. You're gonna want to see my face on this one. Oh, I just got a little water on my face. This is not a sealed container. All right. Let's just see what happens. No. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Wait. Um oh, there's a skin. Yeah, this that that didn't help me at all. That All right, internet scams abound. Look at it. It's just uh, Oh no. Oh, oh. Let's see if oh. the Oh, the yep. Okay. You know what? I'm still going to eat that egg, but I'm not going to dip that in chocolate. <laughs> Kids, it's why you have a backup. Oh, you know what else you're supposed to do? You're supposed to put these in ice. I didn't do that. That's cold water. Let's see if I can get this one going. All right, here we go. The technique. Tappy tap. Boop. Oh my gosh. This we is... are mourning the egg by the way in the chat. Like, don't, don't. Rip egg, so sad, sad day. Oh no, no, not another egg gone too soon. Oh man. If you think I'm not going to eat that egg, you're out of your mind. Anna Hyde liked the effort though. I wanted to try it. And you know, when you're doing live TV, you don't know what's going to happen. All right. Here we go. I got it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, look, look at this. Beep, beep. This is the softest of soft boiled eggs. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dip this. Drizzle, okay, you know what? You said drizzle. We'll drizzle. We'll drizzle. So, get a little. Do we need a spoon? I don't know, I think I can do it with this. Spatula. So, here's what I'm gonna try. Ready? We're gonna watch. Oh, oh wait, you know what? 
Kids, it's art. Let's not rush it. Helena says, no, that's a clean egg. 35 seconds in the microwave. And while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and slice a cucumber. Okay, we're going to do mini cuke dips. This is, a, I mean, yesterday was cabbage and veggies. Today, oops. Ooh, no. It's okay, wait. What are we on? Three, four, five. Watch this. I do not waste food, y'all. I do not. I'm a chef. Okay. Naomi says that for some reason the squishing of the egg made her violently uncomfortable. Like in, in the little container? Yes. Oh, geez. I'm sorry about that. It's supposed to work. It's supposed to be a great little... Bennett is saying don't question the process. Naomi. Thank you, Bennett. Naomi, I want you to open your heart. Open your heart to techniques, you know? Uh, learning is failure. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure. It involves failure. It's not like complete failure. It means failure is learning? You know what? That's why... That's why the new generation is here to teach me. Still, I I have a lot to. This is hot, but okay, I'm fine. Naomi says, "True, true," and heart equals opened. Thank you, Naomi. Okay, as you can see, it's just like the cookie, right? But let's get this egg underway. This is going to be the longest e-learning cooking show. I was actually trying to go for the shortest one today, but I'm actually I'm having a lot of fun here. Let's see what happens. Oh man, that's that's clunky. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, we've got. Oh, I got. Let me finish my. Uh, what are these cucumbers? Holy cow, I can't believe I just did that to an egg. Okay. Elliot says that that is ungodly. <laughs> it really, really is. There's, I, I gotta say, friends, there's no excuse for that kind of behavior. But, um, you know, again, when you're, when you're an unprofessional chef and you're trying things for the first time, you don't know. Bennett disagrees, though, because she, she says that you are a chocolate master at his best. There's no question I master the chocolates, and I eat them too. Carrots, dare I say, delicious, sweet, and nutritious, full of beta carotene. If you eat enough of these, you'll turn orange, which I think would be really cool. Um, Helena says chunky chocolate eggs are greater than everything else. Uh, Hannah Sketches Things says Food Network wants to be you. They're, they've... Yeah, they haven't contacted me, but I would like to think that they're thinking about it seriously. Anna Hyde says that you butchered the egg. That's correct, Anna. I... Hannah Crow is wheezing, laughing. Oh, careful with that asthma. Jonathan James says Gordon Ramsay could never. Would he ever? No, he wouldn't. He might get. He might be a little upset with me, to be honest. Let's not tell him what I'm doing. Naomi says, Scoob, now that you've created it, you must consume it. Bennett agrees, and she says you have to eat the choco egg. Do I have to eat this cheese, though? I'm a little nervous about this cheese. I don't know. I think it's fine. <laughs> okay, all right. This is, I think this is like a, uh, it looks like a spicy cheddar. It is. <laughs> Pugs right. for Life says you're the Bob Ross of home cooking shows. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm not even that level of professional. But, guys, we're going to get there. All right. Remember to keep that chocolate hot so the dipping process goes well. And the cheese melts. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this spread. Did I forget anything? I also have jalapeno cheese. Yes, okay. why not? Jalapeno <laughs> cheese. Yes, Helena, I do approve, approve of the cheese. I can't speak today. This is what happens when I don't go to school. Right? You, everybody forgets how to speak? Oh, my God. Social distancing has uh, broken me. It's almost illegal. Like the number of people we have in this household alone is is almost too many for the for the social distancing policy. There's six of us here. We're close to ten. Okay, jalapeno and 
Side dip. Boop. Boop, boop. Oh, okay, that's fine. And then the dip and twist. My chocolate is definitely kind of, um, is the right word coagulating? Is that the right word? All right, quick rinse. Again, this is not a full sanitation of the hands. It's just a rinse the chocolate, wipe on the sanitized towel. I think, skills. I think it's time to eat. <clears throat> now, as the chef, I test all foods. No, 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 wait. This this joke is funny. Oh, you got one? Hallie said the Duggar family is quaking. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so true. Holy cow, they have to divide into two or more. Like, split them into thirds. Social distance. Okay. Where do I begin? I'm going to let you instruct me. All right, what's the first one McCallum should eat? Best for last, choco egg last. Okay, egg is last. I just got, ah, oh, I just got chocolate on my shirt. Mm -hmm. All right, what's first though? What's first? Kyle Ward is just laughing right now. All right, I'm gonna decide then. Here's what I wanna go. I wanna go, I'm gonna go. Oh, the cheese, the cheese. Jalapeno cheese. <laughs> Jonathan James says the, the cheese. The cheese is first. Then I'm gonna try. Oh, Helena also says you have to eat your shirt now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I ate more of my beard than my shirt on that, I think. Okay, so jalapeno cheese. Cheese bologna. Cukes. Bologna. Oh, no, bologna. bologna. Cheese bologna, cukes, carrot. Shirt. Shirt. Mm, that's kind of gross. Don't look at that. Okay. Go this technically, should, these should all be set up there. They would kind of solidify, but we're just, we don't have time for that. So I'm going to try one. Go for it. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> it's... Kyle Hawarda says that Kate says that this is disgusting. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> it was kind of good at first because it was creamy. Then the jalapeno came through. Big son, can you grab me a little drink of water? Yeah. Jonathan James suggests chocolate covered beard. Chocolate covered beard? Yeah, beard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I it, it's possible that might happen by the end of this. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to. Baloney. Oh yeah, baloney, baloney, baloney. All right, we're gonna get this one. That's got a lot of good stuff on it. This one I have no concerns. That's so good. No, he says that her taste buds are crying. It's just salty. Watching this. Thank you. Mm. Kyle Florida also says that we need to feed it to the Furby. I know I had to contain the Furby just so he she wouldn't come in here and eat it. All right, hold on. That was delicious, by the way. Salty, sweet. It's again chocolate covered bacon. <clears throat> Okay, all right, on to the next. The, Cuc the cukes. All right, all right. Yeah. ASMR? That? Fine. Cucumbers are like water anyway. So it's like a, it's like an earthy, an earthy chocolate. Gardeny, it's kind of gardeny. Fresh though, fresh. So crunchy, Helena says. Um, cucumbers they reduce inflammation, so I think that's a good a good treat for this time. Okay. Carrot. I would, I mean, I would eat that again. Carrot. Okay. So good. It's really good. Holly suggests the oranges next. All right. You know, the um, the cucumber, it seemed more natural. The carrot is sweet too, so it's a little overkill. All right. Um, Mandy's, the mandarins, what are these called? Cuties? Cuties. Hmm. <laughs> Of course, that is awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because you know those, um, the orange bars 
of chocolate. That's exactly what that is. But ten times better. Because it's like, it's that like, it's like one of those little candies that have the goo inside. And that is good. Okay, that, definitely going to make more of those. All right, where, where are we going? I'm going to have to... Any suggestions? I, I mean, banana, apple. They're all going to be great. But I'm going to sample this right here. Ooh. What is that? This is the banana. Oh, yes, the banana. Dreamy. The banana's a little... I was a little ripe. Oh, egg. We're suggesting egg next. Egg, egg next? Egg for last, question mark? I got to be honest. I think I want to do the egg right now. So then I can follow up with something better. Okay. okay. Are we down for that? Uh, followed up by the apple. Yes. Okay. Oh. All right. The only thing I can do. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, listen. Can I watch you pick this thing up? Yeah, yeah. I just here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this open. And hope that it's. Because I don't I don't really want to eat a raw egg. So let's just see what we got. Oh, okay. Now I'm. This is this is actually a perfect egg. Pugs the for life says good luck. The yolk, creamy, chocolate goodness on there. Perfectly cooked egg white. Naomi says that this hurts. Ow. Why? <laughs> this is how coronavirus virus started, she says. That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no good way to combine egg and chocolate. But I don't want to waste it, so I'm just oh, gonna no. uh -huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, wash the hand. 20 seconds. Happy birthday mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. you. Happy birthday mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. All right. I like to do the scrub for 30 and then rinse for 20. Naomi says that she's mourning for your taste buds. Yeah, my mouth just feels like... Ugh. He's sweating it so bad. I am sweating. Like, it's a little gross, but it just feels like it's full of weird, weird creaminess. All right. I need, I need an apple. This will freshen it up. Mm. That was so bad. Okay. Delish, obviously. Now, let's do this. I need, <clears throat> I need to uh, have my little children. Why don't you guys take one of these? Okay, go ahead. Max Those are gonna be good. Rice crispy. Do you like it? Mm. What is it like? Delish. Mm. So mm. good. All right. Chocolate. James, um. what do you want? <clears throat> um. I'm going to try... You want to try that? Okay, there you go. Mm. Go for it. Logan, you want some cheese? Mmm. Cheese. It's good. All right, pick one. All right, while they're getting some food, why don't we come on in over here? Do we need to watch him eat the cheese? I mean... <laughs> no. No. No, we don't. Okay? All right. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the e-learning cooking show. It's been a joy today. Don't forget, comment on the YouTube video and let me know if you want to see that. Uh, see me cook something this weekend. For now, this is Chef Mr. McCallum signing off. <laughs>